think that changed the outcome of the game and the way we play when those two guys score like that. So it's not really complicated, is it? Being a media guy and asked a question like that, it's really not complicated, is it? It's really simple. I mean, uh, we said all year long, for us to beat the best teams in the league, those better teams in the league, our three bigs have really got to play, not three bigs, guys who we know can score. Um, Justin, Q, and Cake. And I don't, I'm not for sure there's been one game where all three of them, maybe there's been a couple, not a whole lot, where they all three were really lights out. Uh, we've had two of them lights out, and even when two of them were lights out, we got chances against some people. And we had that tonight. And it's so important for us to get off to a good start. We've talked about that so many times. And we got off to a good start. Q made some shots early. Um, we were able to get a lead, and we were able to play some zone to try to stretch the game out and preserve us a little bit. Um, but I thought I thought Junior did a really good job controlling the flow of the game. Um, probably league play, I don't know. You guys have his stat, Zach. Probably the season low turnovers in league play seven. Is that a is that a true answer, Zach? Is that 14 assists, seven turnovers. Um, we out rebound a team. I don't have what those stats were the last time we played them, but I remember this. They killed us in the paint. And today we beat them 40 to 18 in the paint. And those 40 in a lot of different ways. Driving in there some, um, and getting that ball to Justin there some. And like I said, we out rebounded a, a big, strong athletic team by 10. Uh, my, our concerns were, could we keep them off the backboards playing zone? And I say 20 playing zone, and we did. Uh, they got five offensive rebounds. Uh, I know they only had one at halftime. You know, and I like this too. I don't like it happened, but I like the way we responded. We came out the first minute and a half, the second half, got hit in the mouth a little bit. If I think they cut it to seven, uh, is that right? They scored seven points in about a minute and a half. That's kind of the way you all have seen this now lots of times. Uh, but. I don't remember what play we had at that point, but it, it, we spurred it back pretty quick to 11, 11 and 12, and got that confidence back. I was going to say, when it got seven, that, did you bring that up to the guys here? It is the run. Did I call timeout? Yeah. Did I? Um, to be honest, I don't remember what I said. But it probably been a pretty good thing to say at that time, wouldn't it? <laughs> if I didn't say it, I probably should have said it. But I don't think I would have had to remind them of that. It probably wasn't that. It's probably something different than that because they feel it too. They feel the pressure of it. Um, again, I don't know exactly what we did, but we scored out of that timeout. If I remember, we got a three-point play even, if, I, if I'm correct about that. Um, but good team effort. Everybody played, added to. Uh, we had to make shift a little bit. Anton had four fouls, Ben had four fouls, and we had to finish the game small, but I thought our guys we had a lead, which made it e easy for us to do that. How important is it for Junior to score like he did tonight? You know, it's important for Junior. When he can give us 10 points, efficient 10 points. You know, he's three for six, four, four free throws, four assists, one turnover. Those are efficient stats. Uh, when he can be efficient like that, when you all know what it does, that's that. That could be another guy to add to from a scoring standpoint. Takes a little load off making shots a little bit. Takes a little bit of load off adjusting in there. How was this game after? Listen, guys, you all know this. All games count as one win and one loss. That's where they all count. Uh, but there's always points in your schedule and points in your, you know, who you're playing, when you're playing. Uh, when you, you, you know your back's against the wall, but you just got to plant your foot and take a stand and you know, make a point. And it was one of those games. And know this, we kept things in perspective coming out of that game Thursday night now. You know, it's easy, it's easy Thursday night after getting beat like we did, and I've seen it, uh, to throw, the, throw a hammer and really, and really, you know, make it tough. But we didn't. We got beat by a really good team Thursday night. Okay, And I come back and said this, our, our kids played as hard as they could play for 16 minutes when it was 19-18. Again, it's a 40-minute game, and we couldn't finish it. 
but we kept things in perspective. That team, they're going to beat a lot of people. Uh, I looked up and saw last night it was 31 to 10 at Marshall, the first 10 minutes of the game. So it's one win, it's one loss. We got to put it behind us the best we can. That's easier said than done sometimes. You know, kids hurt. Kids don't miss shots on purpose. Kids don't get beat on purpose. We all know what we're trying to do and who we're trying to do it with and trying to battle through. And But I'll promise you, we showed up today um, believing we could beat UAB. Most of our showed up hoping we could, and that's okay. Should have probably hoped after what we've been through. But we believed we could beat UAB. And again, um, you know, it's a, it's a small margin for error. Those things have to go right for us that we've talked about, and today they went right for us. Talked after the last game down there, you guys made a hint to look like an All-American. So you're probably a lot happier in the way you played this time. Well, remember, first game he was averaging, in this game too, he's averaging five and a half points a game. He had seven for the first time out down there. I remember that perfectly. Um, you know, tonight he'd been starting last game. He didn't start him, but uh, big guys weren't a lot of factor tonight. You look at Lee's stats, he has 18, but know this, of those 18 points, only four of them came in the paint. Three of his, three of his five three-pointers came in the last when that game was stretching out some, and he made four free throws. So he got two, he got two paint baskets tonight, uh, Lee did. A uh, big kid had nine points, two for three, and fouled him, fouled him around that rim a little bit. But I thought we did about as good a job as we could fighting with Anton, Ben, um, you know, and Justin and those guys. What's to say about Justin, the way he's played in the last couple of games, even with this knee on thing? Yeah, Justin was a, you know, he was a, he was a horse out there today now. He was a man the other day. His offensive rhythm wasn't quite as good against middle, and they had something to do with it too, those big, strong, athletic guys. But uh, he was finishing things today. You know, after playing one game with that knee and, you know, having a little bit more preparation with that knee, uh, you can see he's much more comfortable with it in every way. And again, like I said, we want to get him that ball as much as he can. He makes good decisions and he's finishing plays around that hole. Yes, sir. Rick, you, you mentioned, you know, before the big guns got a score for you to win, and you also mentioned earlier the week the bench has got to play well for you. TJ and Ben gave you 38 combined minutes. Did you think they gave you quality minutes? Well, they did. Both of them had it too. Ben was really good in that zone. A lot of things don't show up in the stat, but he was around that rim, uh, and he's long. And playing zone is the best way to play him a lot. You know, when you're a man, you know, those guys move him around. He's not always around that rim, and he gets physically he gets tired pretty quick. Uh, but the zone, he's got less area to cover, a lot easier for him to cover it, and he's much more effective with who he is, long arms, those teams that we can zone. Um, playing zone, and we felt like going this game, uh, UAB was a team that we could zone. Um, you know, they had one kid, uh, the, well, there's two starting kids, Watson, number 11, guys who had made shots outside that. There really wasn't a lot of people making shots consistently for them, and, you know, we rolled a dice some, and when you're on the road, they're on the road, you got to roll dice, and, you know, they made some shots. They still made 10 threes, but you, you look at that um, shot, a shot chart of their 43 shots, 26 of them are threes. Now, that's probably not the strength of their team. And I'm sure the coach will talk about that some, but that's sometimes well, that, that's what zone happens. You back off a, a non-shooter and tell him to shoot it. Well, he's open. Well, all of a sudden, he thinks he can shoot it. And they had some guys shoot it, shoot it up there who wasn't very good shooters tonight. Anything else for coach? Coach won't have media before Charlotte, so you need anything else? Go ahead. That was my next question, Coach. Just the last road trip of the regular season. Well, I mean, um, you know, we got to carry this on the road. Carry this confidence on the road. Uh, and again, uh, I'm going to keep things in perspective. You know, we got so far behind the first game against um, um, Marshall here. Fall back. Fall back right there. Then you come in with the best team who are going to beat a lot of people. Uh, like I said, I'm going to keep giving them respect. They're really good. And for our kids to bounce back after those two hard games, gain, from, gain some confidence from beating a really good team tonight, we got to find ways now to take the only game and build from the game that matters the most. And that was winning the UAB game and taking the confidence from that and going on the road and playing. Uh, you know, we play like that, and I'll keep saying it. We feel like we have an opportunity against anybody on a given day. 
and that's what we'll try to do on that next game at Charlotte. Is that, 